Welcome to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is part one. I'm really looking forward to this game. One of the top AAA games of this year. And I'm hearing a lot of very, very positive things about this game. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoy it. All I ask is one thing. You take one second to press that like button, add to your favorites, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think of this first part. Edward Kenway, the pirates, let's go. Oh, that was an assassin, I think. Right. You can look around, obviously, you can move as well. So, obviously, that's the very, very basic. Reach the ship's wheel. Taking the wheel, give me a chance. Can you go any quicker than this, please? There we go. Take the wheel. I hear him trying to take the wheel. There we go. Right. Let's take it. Let's take control. Fire the cannons. To so fire with your cannons, hold the left trigger. And then to obviously move to aim and then press the right trigger to damage them, just to shoot them. That crazy. Alright. Uh, there's a guy directly in front of us. We're making a miss the army. Alright, let's just try and get around here. Slow. Oh, there we go. Let's try and fire again, lads. Oh, nice. Good shot, lads. I'm a pirate. Edward Kenway. Oh, nice shot. I even think it feels a lot better, actually, in this game. I wasn't that a massive fan of it in AC3, but apparently it's a more refined part of this game. I'm hearing a lot of uh, very positive things. I think there's uh, the main ship just over there, though. So this is definitely not over yet. I might speed up a little bit. A little wave on this. Oh my god, that lightning just bad that ship. Right. So we can try and get it. We're going to try and go past and try and fire. Oh, nice. It's not finished yet, though. It's not finished yet. I slowed down a little bit here. See so if we try and get it from this angle. Might be a little bit tricky. Aim. Oh, so close. Almost killed it. Pretty sure I saw the setting on that bow, though. Yes, we've done it. Perfect, Captain. Edward. Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. We're just about alive, <laughs> barely got that alive, Jesus Christ. Well, so obviously we're doing this privateering now, um, that was like a sort of flashback. Um, but yeah, we are Edward, Co uh, Edward Kenway, um, so this is uh, Connor's grandfather, I think I'm getting it right, yeah, Connor's grandfather from AC3, so you guys know. This is obviously on the Xbox 360, and or you could say the PS3 is pretty much similar. Um, next gen is happening on the 22nd of November, so I'll be doing some coverage on that as well. In the next few weeks, so I'm going to Ubisoft to try out the Xbox One version of the game, 
Let's do some recording and stuff to show you guys. Should be quite nice. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskunos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Bloody fucking pirates! <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! We could chase down this assassin, is that the most wisest thing to do? Anyway. Um, first, the first thing I noticed is Come the colours look amazing. We're off to a bad start. Off to a bad start, mate. In the pirates, oh, he's got double swords already. Oh, awesome! I like that. That pirate swords. Yeah, so chase after an assassin it doesn't seem like the most it's wise thing to do, but whatever. Will you walk that distance? Where is this assassin? I can't see where he is. I'm just guessing at this stage. But yeah, the colours look really, really nice. I love the fact that it's got like foliage, nice and bright. One of these sort of dingy looking games we normally get. Oh, going up. Find the assassin. Sounds so easy when you put it like that. Alright, let's go around this way. Just shimmy up if we can. I'm going to try and go over here. I haven't actually seen the assassin since we uh, since he ran off, so I'm not sure how we're going to find him. There we go. Oh yeah, I got the dive already. See the wildlife around as well. I saw something there. He's quite, quite, quite a fast runner though. Follow and I'll kill you. Oh, oh that didn't go well. Let's go this way. Oh, rough landing. That, I felt that felt painful. So if you are new, by the way, make sure you do subscribe. I'll be doing loads of Assassin's Creed episodes very, very soon. So. Yeah. We could oh. work together on this. That's where he's gone. Oh, I can hear the eagles already in the background. We can work together. He did just try to shoot us, didn't he? So it's not our fault. Oh god! So like a mini tutorial, I guess. Of uh, swimming. Oh crap! He's got his gun loaded up. Whoa! God oh, damn it! I gotta kill him now. Bastard. Man, I think I'm just chasing you down. I'm not going to kill you. Well, not what the hell are you talking about? I keep up with this guy. He's a pretty, pretty nifty little assassin, it seems. Whoop. It does simply say kill on it, though, doesn't it? I mean, what's he done wrong, though, apart from kill uh, Captain, was it? Or some random crewmate, I don't know. Crap. Um. All right. <laughs> Stab. That was okay. What the felt? He was a crap assassin. He was terrible. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. 
Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. He just threw away the hidden blade. He just threw it away. We need that this bullet. Right, so uh, clearly Edward is in, interested in even the money or being an assassin or something. I'm guessing it's more than money at this stage, but um, <laughs> That's good wishful thinking. Ooh. Oh, so we can just sink. Very pretty. Right, so I think they've got to get to that boat over there. See in the distance, looking very, very pretty. Um, Whoa, hey! Yeah, I was a pretty big fan. I quite didn't like the um, Assassin's Creed Revelations, but I liked Brotherhood. I liked Free. I liked the, the first one was okay, but the second one was definitely a lot better. Um, Jeremy, I'm just a big Assassin's Creed fan. Um, I haven't played one for like a year, but looking forward to this definitely. Our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate! You'll hang for the mess you made out there, sir. I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Look at that tallest though, that is insane. Oh, someone's been arrested or something. Assassinate. Very nice. Oh, hello. Uh, stalking ground. Dense vegetation can be used as used as stalk, stalking zone, sorry. Um, now you to hide and move undetected. Sweet. Sounds like a plan. Oh, Oh, that guy might have seen me. He's fine though. Saw me like a, for a second. He's okay, he's okay now. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you. Anything you like. Got oh, oh god, that was so close to being seen. What is that? Oh, let's go around this way. Hello. What's it? So we've got that guy, but I guess we have to go in a fight at, at some point. <laughs> Take anything you like. Got that guy. Yeah, we can't really sneak on with these guys, can we? Look at that, that horse is insane though. I like it. You just strolling along. There's two of them. Perhaps they're going to mate or something. Right, let's try and sneak up on them. Hello! Oh, oh, nice. Right. <laughs> Bitch. God, uh, everybody's got some skills already, so. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? These are very posh English folk. Right, reach the ship well. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Oh, great. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Look at that. That is... Oh, I'd love swimming that. That is amazing. Oh, the fishes as well. Fish physics. Sold. Sold. Everyone buy it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Right, let's go and uh, take hold of this wheel. Is that, that rather overweight guy following us? He is. He's actually catching us up. I'll never have that. There we go. I'm just going to ship wheel. There's a few crewmates on here, but not... um. A whole lot. The ship looks quite weak as well. Right, to speed up, guys. Let's go. Welcome aboard, Duncan. 
She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo for my up a bit. and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? We're already in full. We are we are sailing. Let's go try and sail to that position just over there. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. I love his English accent. <laughs> oh, I love the traditional English accent. We've, really We've lost it so it much. Now, haven't we? <laughs> right, we have some of the rocks around here. Looks quite shallow. Is that me imagining that? I'll have to slow down in a second. Look at those birds as well. Like a duck. Like, um, what are they called? Pelicans. Oh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Pinky bird things. Let's do a slam down. Someone like smash this boat. It looks such a fine vessel. She'll take it. She'll take it. It's like a little slalom course around here. Jesus. So obviously we'll acquire some more weapons. But like I said, this is um, Connor's grandfather. So this is a uh, sort of early on, I guess, in the history. So which is quite nice. All they, they all link together. So that's the health, I think, of the boat as well. We should better to get around here, shouldn't we? Just like that, yeah, sure. There you go. Speed it back up again. Instead of uh, doing a Titanic and scrape against that rock. That's what we need. Yes, I know it was an iceberg, but it's, you know what I mean. Whoa! What the hell? Did I, did I just see that? Was I just seeing things? Wow. That game just went up a notch. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvellous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Fantastic work. Very promising. All right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Is that all the tests, seriously? So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right. Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Well, thank you. Apparently I'm silent. I guess we're not really a character as such. Um, I think I'm subject 13, but se subject Impressive, 17, right? by the way. This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. 2010. Is that when the disaster happened in IC3? Don't get my, get me my events mixed up. That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean pirates. So that's your gig. What It'll just take a minute, okay? I'm like some sort of dodgy entertainment game thing now. I'm using my mind to create like a well, game. Thank you, Nancy. Weird. Bon journée. Who's that? One second. Do I recognize you? C'est bon. C'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. 
The primary tool of our trade, your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Sort of looks like an iPad to me, but that's just, I don't know, perhaps I'm just seeing things. So it's got a nice little track on there as well. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Cool. So I'm guessing we will be exploring this, and obviously Edward as well. Um, we'll come back into the modern times and do stuff. I'm not sure what's going to happen though. It looks very pretty though. Wow. What a pretty flowers and stuff. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. Oh, I thought it was wireless. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Second floor. Do I press A for that? Oh. oh okay, got different things. Press B again. Wow, well, we did it. Ooh, how fancy. Hello. How you doing? You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, mes amis. Ça va well, bien? thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Talking nice brackets. Yeah. Wink, wink. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. Where is Desmond? This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. God, this feels really, really weird. That's some sort of office now. Um, so I got just enter through there. What the hell? This is so crazy. So I got like trophies behind us as well. Um, is that Edward? I think it's Edward. I may be, may be wrong. I don't know. Right. Press B. We are entering the Welcome Animus. To Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions comments or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah.
mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby, in case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Yeah, I don't think Edwards is particularly, um... Doesn't really fit in here, I don't think, but... Uh... Hopefully you can blend in. Oh, we've got some uh, distractive ladies to help us out if we need All it. Our ladies? You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. Married man of their forte, mate. Did I see a cat? Or was that me? It's definitely a white cat. Sweet. So that obviously this is our first city to explore. Personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> oh, so it's the weapon shop. Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah. Cheers. Right, let's buy some stuff from this guy. Right, a sword set. Um, what else have we got available? Oh, sorry, sword set, pistol set, um, ammo, outfits, pieces of art, sell cargo, sell hunting goods, buy hunting goods. So you basically have hunting stuff. You can hunt for skins and stuff to uh, basically improve your armory, add some more ammo and stuff. It's all good. Um, let's buy a sword set. Uh, British, ooh, Spanish. Officer, small swords. Okay, that's quite cool. Um, so you've got different stats. You've got speed, um, speed, combo, damage. Obviously, we need quite a lot of money for that. So we've got 1,000. And I'm going to use 800 of it. So a nice little new set of swords, which that's is nice. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, sort of right, so we'll try and climb to the top of this church. Um, we got this way? We can. Of course we can. <laughs> it's an assassin. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes. to, to the top. We do have a sink so we can find out what's near us. Uh, this can be anything from um, things that can help us get away from the, the guards and stuff like that. Drop on there, sync up. Look at that view! That is crazy. This looks like a very cool town. Obviously, you've got the eagles still in as well. Love little bits of foliage in it as well. I see the place. We're not far. What? Hang tight. What's this leap of faith? And then there's someone in trouble, I think. I can't breathe. One second. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Chase this guy. <laughs> this is as fast as we can run, though. Ooh, excuse me. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Tends to go up higher, but we're not losing him. So I'm gonna just keep on his tail. He should be good. Ah, oh, come on. Here I come. Come on. It's so close. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't make me chase you into the harbour! Ah. Oh! Get him! <laughs> oh, nice. Right, so we can loot him as well. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Right, it's a new objective. Just gotta go back to him, basically. Oh, so was it actually him that got uh, the stuff actually stolen? I didn't realise that. <laughs> what a noob! I guess the guards will be aware of me now, though. Duncan! By Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filter was no fuss. Oh, yes. 
Time, I'll be just here. Vati meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, I'm gonna piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob, or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Oh. You bastard! Hey, I warned him. Oh. Chris, time for a fist fight, lads. God. Typical pirate, seriously. Cause an absolute havoc. Come on, lads. Give slap. So this is a basic tutorial on, on how to uh, basically do combat. So you can press B and then B to sort of throw him away again, like just throw him over there. Chuck him on something. You can hurt him. More of like a slap in the face, I guess. Now we've got the um, counter and then the knockout. Like that. Very, very nice. I'll do it again, bitch. Try it. Very nice. One more. One more. Come on. I <laughs> just threw him away. So basically the Wacom comes above their face when they're going to, to attack about their head, sorry. Very nice. Any more guys want to try it? Seriously? Don't give up yet. But Edward is a pretty, pretty talented little assassin already, I think. Even about training. Oh, yes. See him gone. Could assassinate if you want to. Oh, crap. Um... I'll catch you up. Right, oh my god, <laughs> we're surrounded. Right, I got some smoke bombs. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice went. Can you use some smoke bombs? So we've just got to select it, I think. And again, so don't come after us. Some bastards. All smoked up. Let's go. Let's go, here. keep going, keep going. Up the ladder. Come on, Edward, we need to go quicker than this. The pigeons. Come on, Edward, let's go. We won't for much longer. We need to find something on the roof that we could uh, perhaps hide in. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Let's go up here. Oh, no. No, there we go. I think we may be... I don't think they can see us. We need to find something. Ah, oh, they've seen us again. Okay. Ooh. I can't find anywhere to hide. Is there any hay or anything from the... F oh man, where is something to hide? I think we've done it. Sweet. Whew. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Smack of a like. It takes literally a second to do. It really does, really does help me out a lot. So I really hope you guys do do that. Uh, Favourite it. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys very, very soon indeed. Bye-bye.